everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the forked half double crochet stitch. Now this is the stitch in front of you here. The texture of this stitch is the same on both sides. It creates a fairly solid fabric, but one that's not too thick in touch texture, so it's going to have a little bit of drape. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And while you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Feel free to subscribe. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial, as well as other crochet patterns throughout the week. Our forked half double crochet stitch is very easy to work. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain for this stitch can be any multiple of stitches. So today I'm just going to start by chaining 20. And 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a forked half double crochet stitch, working beginning in the third chain from your hook and working into the next chain. So to work your forked half double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that third stitch. Your chain two is going to count as a double crochet. So into that third stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You're going to do the same in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're then going to yarn over and draw through three loops only, and then yarn over and pull through three more loops. That's how you work the forked half double crochet. You're going to continue to work these stitches, forked half double crochets, all the way across. This time though, beginning each of the next stitches in the last previous stitch worked. So for my next, next forked half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch as the previous stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain, yarn over and drop a loop. You have six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through three, yarn over and pull through three more. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way across until you have one chain remaining. And you're going to again begin each forked half double crochet in the previous stitch before moving on to the next chain. Once you come all the way across for row one and have one chain remaining, you're simply going to work a double crochet into that final chain. You can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, and this will be your repeat row, you're going to work forked half double crochet stitches all the way across, beginning in the first stitch at the base of your turning chain and in the next stitch. So yarn over, 
insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, draw the loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw the loop, yarn over and pull through three loops, and yarn over and pull through three more. You're going to continue working your forked half double crochet stitches all the way across starting in the same stitch as your last forked half double crochet stitch and then in the next stitch. Continue to repeat this all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. When you come all the way across, you have one stitch remaining, which is your turning chain. You're simply going to work one double crochet into the top of your turning chain. And that's all there is to working this forked half double crochet stitch pattern. You're then simply going to chain three, turn your work, Work forked half double crochet stitches all the way across, simply repeating that row two for as long as you would like, and then fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the forked half double crochet stitch. Be sure to subscribe. If you happen to work on this stitch, let me know how it goes. You can tag me on social media at Rich Textures Crochet. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.